On this week's wood fired workshop, we're going to be making this beautiful soda bread. Keep watching to see the full video. Hi hey everyone, welcome to this wood fired workshop at Manor from Devon Cooking School. In this workshop, we're going to be making soda bread. Soda bread is just a really quick, really simple way of making bread. Fantastic on that morning when you suddenly realize that you need some bread for lunch, but you forgot. Uh, but you've got the right ingredients to throw together and make a quick soda bread in a matter of minutes. One of my absolute favorites because it's one of the first breads I ever cooked in a wood-fired oven. Traditional bread of Ireland, of course, where they don't have the climate to grow nice strong wheat, but they do have the climate to grow fantastic grass and produce wonderful dairy products. So in this recipe, and I've got it in the bowl here, we've just got plain flour, just a bag of old plain flour and a little bit of wholemeal flour just to give it some bite. Along with that, in this case, we're mixing in some whole grain. So I've got some barley flakes, some rye flakes and some oats in there. Salt and bicarbonate of soda. So this is one part of what's going to make the bread rise. The other part is buttermilk. Buttermilk is fantastic for this. If you haven't got buttermilk, but you've got milk and a, and a lemon, you can just mix those two together to create uh, your acidulated milk. And then you've got an acid in here and an alkaline there. Mix those two together. Lots of carbon dioxide that will make our bread nice and light. So we're just working in the, the molasses here and homogenizing the other ingredients. But apart from that, there's no kneading, there's no waiting at all. And you can see I've got a nice sort of mixture that looks a bit like wet concrete. I'm gonna push a little bit further and add another tiny splash of water. And I'm just making sure, looking that I don't have any big lumps of bicarb or anything or flour that hasn't been broken up. So there you can see I've got a, a wet claggy mass of well mixed dough with no obvious molasses or flour. I'm going to flour my, my sheet here and tip that out onto the flour so I can shape the dough. I'm not trying to do any tensioning or any of that here. So you can see how wet this is and that's exactly how it should be. And I'm just going to sort of fold the sides in a little bit to create a round and flip that over. And that's my and that's my shaping done. We're going to cook it almost directly on the floor of the oven but to make it easier for me to get it in and out I'm going to put it on a sheet of silicon so I pop that on there and then the traditional way of finishing this dough is to use the scraper flatten it down a little bit and then use the scraper to quarter it pushing that sort of three quarters of the way through so that we Divide the bread into four. And then a little poke in each quadrant there. So let's just take a little look at the oven. I've got the oven partially heated up. So the floor is sitting at sort of 200 degrees or so. And I've got a little bed of embers left over on the left hand side. Uh, they're just adding a tiny bit of heat. And I really want the heat to be just above 200 degrees, not too much above because remember we've got the molasses in there or whatever kind of sugar you've put in and that would burn if the oven was too high. So this is not a sort of 230, 240 oven that we might bake some breads in. This really wants to be a 210, 220 kind of oven. So we're ready to go in the oven. So we we'll scoop that up. Pop it in with a little bit of separation from the embers so we don't get too much radiant heat on one side. Door on and that should take 
20 to 25 minutes. Nice hollow tap when we, when we tap it on the bottom and it'll be done. After 10 minutes, I'm just gonna have a quick look, make sure everything's happening as we would hope and give the bread a 180 degree spin just to make sure it's cooking nice and evenly. That's looking absolutely perfect. Back in for another 10 minutes. So we're almost at 20 minutes, but just before I bring the bread out, a moment to say thank you for watching this video. And if you do enjoy our regular workshops, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, so let's have a look and see how we're doing. So we've got a beautiful color there. and a lovely hollow sound of that. And this is a bread which you really can eat when it comes straight out of the oven, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So there we are, a grain-filled soda bread cooked in the wood-fired oven. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.